Yeah, I did. I have the um, restoration or the restored. Co my bad. I'm sorry. The restored content mod, and the um, and M478. I also have invisible headgear. Oops, bumped my mic. And I have, I think, one more mod. I can't. I'm not 100. I can't 100 remember. Oh, the anti-clipping uh, head mod. This is the loading ramp to the Ebon Hawk. Once aboard, you'll be leaving the mining facility for good. Into the Ebon Hawk. I hate that freaking glitch, man. I really do. Look, can you fly this thing or not? Can we jump to hyperspace? Keep your distance, we'll get out of this yet. No, someone might still be alive on the facility. <laughs> Harbinger was on its way to Helos? Yes, to aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much of a choice. The Oh, I didn't think it fixed itself somehow. It is where we must go, and where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. How did you know I was on board the Harbinger? You were difficult to find, but coincidence was on our side. When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Hold on. Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. How come I don't remember this? Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. It's an unusual set of coincidences. True. But as one trained in the Force, you know that true coincidences are rare. How do we get to Progress? I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to Pro <laughs> TT's like, I did it, I did it! Be silent, we're having a conversation here. Says he repaired the ship and got us to Progus. Repaired this ship, my eye. Next thing you know, it's gonna claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on, get. Ha! <laughs> Forty-three. Why are the Sith looking for me? Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. I'm not a Jedi, not any longer. Whatever lies you tell yourself are of no consequence. The Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. But isn't... But the loss of the Jedi, that can't be true. The Jedi Civil War destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. 
I'd like to point, um, I have to point out that your character is not the last of the Jedi, it's just that the other Jedi are like your character, they're in exile, they put themselves in exile, they didn't cut their connection to the force like exile usually does, but they switched off their lightsabers. Your character is not the last of them. What about the Jedi on Dantooine in Coruscant? The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi. And the Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the room of a thousand fountains have fallen still in reverence to the fallen Jedi and those now lost. Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall and the civil war that followed. The new survivors still live we need to warn them perhaps but they are jedi no longer if the sith have not already slain them then they will not help you nor can you help them then how do we stop the sith that is not an easy question to answer this threat is greater than you know and i do not believe it is a battle that can be fought if we don't stop them they're going to keep coming look enough with the we already we cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, you will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. In the end, I fear it may not be enough. What do you mean? You fought in the Mandalorian Wars, and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? We must stop them. There is no other option. You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. I have nothing to lose now. How could back to be? I do not... Jedi's life is sacrifice, small price to pay. <laughs> Your fool's words echo of a Jedi. You have much to learn, but we have spoken long enough, and my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy eyed <laughs> Also, in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. <laughs> Look, uh, not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. You're right, she may need help. Can you hear things up here? We're on autopilot until we hit Telos. Until then, a droid could fly this thing. Besides, I think our passenger could use your help. I'll go check on it then.